good afternoon. I guess you'll be watching it at whatever time you watching it. I just want to say welcome back. It's me, Bakisa, at the Canva Cafe. And this is my second tutorial here on YouTube. And this video is probably going to be a part of the, a series of the 12th day of Christmas. I don't know which day this will fall into because I am pre-recording these videos as you can tell so if you hear a little bit of noise i've got my little space heater on because my feet is cold here it's chilly so um what i'm going to do is this is video is going to be because you clicked on the thumbnail um how to make a free website using canva um and if you want me to break down why you should use one in Canva and all the pros and cons let me know because I don't want this video to be too long so this is what the um, website is gonna look like so this will be the tutorial and I'm gonna do this a little different I'm gonna leave the, these pages up here for me to refer back to so I can just design from there and then afterwards I'll show you um, I, if we have time or I'll try to show you how to upload uh, how to access the website function I hope that's clear and once again um, this channel isn't just Canva it's also about the business of being with me but Kisa as I go on my journey um, as a 40 something plus um, woman mother single mother single mother yeah single mother <laughs> A single woman <laughs> as I embark on this business journey so sometimes I'll be on here maybe with some makeup and hair advice and tutorials only because um, when you do your websites you may need to have really nice photos and things like that and although I sound like this I I look like this this is one of my um, <clears throat> excuse me this is also photos of myself I use myself as my own model and I do edit my photos they are lightly touched so if you've met me in person you know I do look like this so um, sometimes I will come on this channel and show you a few little makeup tips and um, photography type of things editing type of things for, so that you have really nice photos for your page for your websites um, Instagram or what have you so if you like things like that then my YouTube channel is where you should be and why be anywhere else but here okay and one of my models uh, is you know at the end of the day I'm not really happy unless I'm helping so I like to help so if you have any questions make sure you leave it below in the um, comment section I'm trying to get all the lingo down child and don't forget to comment share subscribe and I'm rooting for you. Okay, let's root for each other. All right. Oh, I feel like crying because I just get emotional because I just want to do the best and teach y'all and for y'all to learn. So anyway, I'm stopping rambling. Let's go. So I'm just going to make a duplicate page just so we can see how I made this. And let me delete some of these things. And I'm going to may skip a few steps just so the tutorial won't be so long. But you'll get the gist of everything I'm doing. So we'll take some shortcuts here and there. So when you go into Canva, you will go to the home page. And you can search um, websites on the home page. And they have uh, bajillion templates to use. So I use the template just so that I can show y'all how you can use a template. Although my template doesn't look anything like theirs anymore. So I'm going to click right here on the side so this is the template that I used and I ended up deleting one of these uh, one of this this I deleted a lot of them <laughs> so I don't know why I used the template to begin with I just um, used it because I like the fact that they had these three squares here and I, I figured okay I could put images right there and some wording was there just to give me uh, a little quick um, upper hand or what have you so you can do that if you like so I just wanted y'all to know that I don't want to you know do anything suspicious behind the scenes okay so that's what I did so for the first page what I this is my first page I pulled an image of myself but before I did that I changed my background to black because that's the branding I'm using in particular for this particular um, website of course you can use whatever color you want or your brand or what have you so I took a picture of myself and I removed the background and what I did was I clicked it and set it as replace the background so now my that is now my background 
Next, after I click it, I hit the transparent button up here and I make it a little bit transparent. I don't remember what number I use. Let's see, I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna click that, it's 36%. So I wanna kinda keep it the same for the tutorial. So I'm just gonna, I almost was there, I had it on 34. But you could put it at whatever percent you want. You know, if you want something a little bit more smoky and mysterious, you could do it darker like that. That's still a vibe, you know. Um, that one, it's good because you can see my image, but this one pops a little bit more because you can see the words more and you can still see me in the back. So you can do whatever you want. Well, we'll do that one for now. So next, I typed out my brand name. And in case you don't know, I used to be, well, I still am Tresses Leche on Instagram. I still have that Instagram. So if you want to follow me over there, I'll go ahead and follow me there. <laughs> so... I put my my um, brand name right in the center and you can do that by hitting the position and hit center and middle so I kind of was pretty on spot on about doing that on my own cheers to me and then I put my little whatever um, um, logo not logo gosh y'all I don't know what I'm trying to say whatever little uh, affirmation or mantra or whatever you want to write below it and what I did was after I typed it I went into these um, three lines here with the up and down arrow which is spacing and when I clicked it I, I spaced the words so that it could um, have more space so I'm gonna unspace it so you can see what happens that's how the word originally was treat yourself um, let me put that zero because that's that means it's back to where it originally was so that's how it was so if you always wonder how people sp um, spread out those words they just use this key this line key up here so that's what I did next um, I added this wording here and I did uh, it in a cursive um, font because it just added a little bit of interest um, I'm not probably not gonna line everything right back up because I just want you to see how to do it and everything else you can do on your own to make sure you do everything um, to your liking so it's pretty much um, almost exactly how this one is up here so the next thing is I went and got an element um, it's just a gold element so you can just search in Canva on the elements if I can get my mouse in the right spot um, so I'm just gonna I don't know let's see so you could use something like this and I'm gonna click this is this one is called gold banner so I'm gonna click this so that looks like maybe what I use because there's so many gold things I can't remember what I use when I design and I just shrink it or shrunk it and you just make it to the size that you want for whatever um, what you might want to put here because maybe it may say purchase here click this link it may say whatever so you may need to make it as big as you need so I put it behind the word and after I got through I just grouped it together and that was that so that's that on the first page oh no it's not that's a lie I lied I'm sorry oh no is that on the first page or is this on the second page oh, I'm trying to see okay so then on the second page we're all done with the first page so I'm gonna delete it and here on the sides, it's just like anything else. If you want to put them in a different order, you just put the arrow. Um, you just click it. So now that one is at the top. But we're, we're going to delete that because we already did this one. That's the, I think I like it darker, though. But we'll worry about that later. We're not here for me. We're here for you. So now the second page, let me duplicate that so you can see how I made that. Right here, we already had our text. That's self-explanatory. I put the text there this border right here so let me let me delete one so I can show you really quick so right here I hit the R button on my keyboard for the shortcut because I'm using another keyboard down here and it's taking forever to turn on so I clicked R which will bring up the shape R should be for rectangle but it's for square here so I'm going to make it as um, big as this one. So I'm just going to show you how I made it. And so it's like that. I may not get the exact size because I'm just trying to replicate it. So then I went and I changed the color. And I, I believe I clicked this transparent one here. So it's now see-through. And I went and I did a border, and the border weight is 1, because I wanted it super thin. And I changed the border color to one of my brand colors over here. 
So now that I unclick it, now you can see that's what that looks like. So then now I get a square. Let me find a square. Let me make sure I use a square now because I've, I've been doing a lot of designing all day. So I got a square. And they may not be the same exact like the other ones, because like I said, I want I don't want this tutorial to be too long. But you get the gist. Oh, I almost lined it up pretty, pretty um, spot on. So then now the next thing is I will upload an image. So um, I have photos of myself over here. So let me find a photo. What photo did I use? Oh, I use that one. But so to save time, we'll just use another photo of myself right here. And then I'll edit the image and I'm going to put a shadow and I'm going to put a drop shadow. And the drop shadow I'm going to use, I'm going to change it up a little bit. So I want the shadow to be on this side of myself. So I'm going to change it to top um, left, top left. And then I'm going to save it. And don't forget when you do um, editing things and images on Canva, give it a few seconds so this restore original will pop up. Otherwise, it'll um, otherwise it will revert back. So I'm gonna pop that in here. Well, I I didn't mean to do that. I meant to sit it on top of there. Well, let me pop myself back out of there. Well, let me detach myself real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the color to the uh, my, one of my brand colors. And I'm going to shrink me down just a little bit. And so that I don't get sucked back into the image while I'm holding the mouse, I'm also going to hold down the command key on my keyboard. So you, while I'm doing that, you see my image doesn't get um, sucked back into the frame. So I'm just going to... But I think on the other ones, I did put myself in the frame. That's what I want to say. Hold on. I think I did put myself in a frame. Hold on. I'm going to duplicate it. Okay. So what happens is I put this color behind my image so that when I pop myself into the frame, the other color behind it will um, also show. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to crop my image. So I'm going to pull my little self down so that I can um, be a little bit more centered. And I'm going to hit done. So that's that. And I think these might be a little, this one might be a little smaller than, uh, I didn't mean to move it, a little smaller than these, but I'm just um, showing you what I did just so you could um, get the gist. And you just would put your, whatever it is you're selling. And so I don't want to take up too much time. I'm going to just um, copy this really quick. Even though that's not the hair that I'm using in this one, I'm just going to paste it here. So you would just put your, your copy, whatever you're selling, right there. Um, and let me put this back a little bit. Because that's in my way. In my keyboard thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I'm going to also just copy this, which would be your price. So whatever information you may want to put there about your about whatever you're selling and that's that on that and I use this other little element over here in the corner just to add a little bit of interest let me see if I can find it real quick so I'm just gonna go back into my recently used and I think it was just right down there. it's like it it's like it sees right here it's like Kevin knew what I was going for next it's just crazy so I don't think that's the right color though Mm, let me see. Let me see if I can find that color. Oh, I don't want to waste time looking for it. Let me see if I can go into my recently used. I was up here using a lot of things, if you can see. Okay. So then I just use this to put right on the corner. Right there. I don't have it lined up properly right now because I'm just rushing through this tutorial. Um, not to rush y'all, but not to keep y'all long. Plus, you can always record this and um, record this. It is record. Replay this at your leisure and go over all the details that I'm doing. So that's almost done with this this page. And all I did right here was 
me go back in here see all my recently used I used this gold line and it's called gold line <laughs> and there's a lot of gold lines that will pop up when you put gold line um, so I just turn it and once I know it's straight because it'll say 90 degrees Hold on. and what I did was I lined it up right here but you have to be mindful because on the Canva websites you have to look out for the lines that tell you where the end of the website is so I mean by this I'm gonna show you uh, with this if I move it up you see it disappeared because it end up behind that other um, that other frame up there so be careful it doesn't overlap it's not gonna overlap because they're two separate pages it'll disappear so just put it right to where it stops where that purple line pops up so that you know that it's um, right on the edge of your design so that was the next thing I did I lined it up like I said and I just pulled it all the way down just to make it long enough and then I um, pushed it uh, I forced it up so that it would be thin be a little bit more thin just like that one up there so that's what we did and by we me why did I click all these things I must accidentally clicked all these things so that's how I did the second page so that's done so we're going to delete that one this page also is the same thing it's a black um, background so this one was super simple I put my text right here um, we love and the font uh, that I'm using in case you're interested is called Pearson's Pearson is P-I-E-R-S-O-N and this other font right here is called the Artesian the A-R-T-I-S-A-N if that's how you pronounce it and so that's the font I use for the selfie portion these gold hearts that I added um, if you go into um, the elements it's called isolated gold hearts vector design so if you just you know pause the page so you could see what it says and you can go ahead and put it into um, Canva for yourself also and what I used right here was a frame um, this one is called i14 i14 iPhone 14 um, frame and this is the one I used and I did it in a few steps so I used the frame I'm just gonna show you the gist of what I did I used the frame and I put an image of myself in here so we'll just use let me just find an image real quick And this photo I probably got off of Pinterest, just in case you're wondering. Not this one. This one is me. This one I probably got off of Pinterest. So this shadow is going to go behind the frame. So I'm going to hit to the back. And I'm doing what I tell you not to do. Don't click it until it has set so hit apply hopefully it okay it's applied <laughs> why do I keep looking stuff so after I added my image in there you could just add it just like that and you'd be good to go but I also let me go back to I wanted to add a like a shadow in the back like a little um, iPhone shadow and these shadows are called dark phone blur shadows well, I could just use this you know for now as a second little we love selfies um, image thing and be mindful as you see this is cut off so you know um, like I said this frame has a cutoff point so just be mindful of where you put your images if I wanted all her feet to show then I need to move this up higher because it's going to get cut off when it posts to the site so I'm also I'm just going to put this there just for fun and I'm going to turn this one to this direction a little bit and I'm going to put these hearts to the front and I might just shrink it because I'm going to since I'm just I have made a whole new um, video now a whole new flyer website and as you can see these corners right here are the same corners that we used up there so I put it right here on the inside edge and I duplicated 
that same gold line right here that we use up here i use it as a separation point since the background is black i didn't want everything just to blend together so i just used the gold line to separate everything that i wanted to separate and the last page is just um, another square it's the same square that I did up here where I hit the R button if my computer my keyboard works fast enough so it's the same R button and I changed it to Trent no color and I did the border in um, weight is one and it's in black no oh, yeah I left this one in black so let me blow it up so you can see because it might be hard to see so as you can see, you can actually see that that border is black. And I just shaped it. I just pulled pulled it out till I got the shape that I wanted or the size. So as you can see, this is what I did. I pulled it like that. And then I just added my word, contact us. Um, so I don't need to really show you guys that because I don't want to take up your time. And I added a few little social media icons on the side just to jazz it up. I put the time and location and I put my photo here. And I did that by putting another uh, square frame. And I just put my picture on top of it and a blur behind me just to make me pop. So um, just so you can see what I used. I just used it. I just used the square let me unclick that. So I just used the square right here. And as you can see, I'm going to put it right here so you can kind of see. Move this out of the way. So I just used the square. I want to say I probably used the um, the grid one because the grid one you can shape it to the exact size. I probably used the grid. Um, that's what happens sometimes when I make these um, flyers before I do the um, tutorial because I don't like to do it live per se because um, it takes up so much time because when I'm creating sometimes I don't know what I want to do. So I probably use this grid right here because that way I can make the exact size. With the square, you can only kind of make it bigger and smaller. You can't really make it to the exact size you want. So. I'm going to put it to the front just so we can see to the front. And then they duplicate that probably in the frame yes yeah, see so you can see I'm inside the frame or not there we go so now I'm in the frame and then I just placed it right here over a black square background and right behind me is just a blur or a glow I don't remember which one I, I probably use this one And let me hold the button down so I don't actually suck it into the frame and I just put it behind me so that's how I got that um, that effect I just put it behind my image so that my picture will pop and you can see the shadow on me or what have you so so that's how I did that so I'm just gonna delete this really quick and like I said, I just wrote my social media, um, your website. Now, right here, I used the elements that was called this little hand right here. So if you search, it's called Man Hand <laughs> on the smartphone with blank screen cut out. So that's what I searched because I, I couldn't find a, a black woman holding a child. I probably could, but I. I didn't have the time to keep scrolling and looking so I think I'm gonna make me a photo um, with myself holding a screen or something just so I can have that for future reference so for the location portion of this I added the a goal um, location pin and I just typed 
this right here and I just put it over the frame of the phone and what I did right here inside of if you go over to the left hand side of the screen and you click the apps button you can utilize the map right here the Google Maps and so I use the fake it's not fictitious I use the real location so you can input your location of your shop how you do that is you click the Google Map and you put in wherever you want to um, look your location and they'll populate and that's exactly where the mall is so in the same thing you would put your address and see it gave you see it knows the address is 4400 Sharon, Sharon Road um, and so you would just click it so now after you click it it populates the address of wherever your shop is or whatever and it's um so you can open it so it's clickable for your website or whatever you're using it on and all i did was i sh i shrunk it and i just placed it up on top of the phone and i just pulled it out just enough to make enough space to take up the space on the phone so that's all i did in that design and then i just used my um uh email website type of icon and i just typed um, your website there and I just grouped every single thing together so that they can move um, in unison okay so let me just put that back and once again I use this gold line just to add a little a little separation detail I probably didn't have to do it but you know you could and then you could also probably put which I was go going to do but uh, I forgot <laughs> or I just didn't bother because I didn't want everything to be too long so you could also put um, a glow to the back just to add a little bit and I think that's kind of nice just to add a little dimension to the pet to pe the page if I could talk and to add a little um, bring a little bit more awareness to the little map down here so basically that's how you make this website and then the next thing you would do after you do any of these things on here for websites I would highly recommend you do the preview so you just click preview right here so that you can see what it looks like and as you can see it's in beta so it, they're still working on a lot of things in the website so if it's not up to par to your standards right now don't worry canva is working on it and they are going to perfect it even more but for right now it's really it works really well for what we need considering it that it's a free website so it shows you um what it looks like on a laptop also if you hit the little phone icon now you'll see how it will look on your mobile phone which is still looks pretty cute also i want to um point out to you they have the, the um top sections up here so you can have your website with navigation meaning when you click this or click that it'll take you to where you want or you can do it without the navigation Let's wait for it to pop up where you don't have those buttons up there for it to um, prompt you to click it. Click it. So we're going to put with navigation and I'm going to show you how that works. So as you can see, the website looks pretty good on all, all um, devices. So that particular part about the navigation, how that works is you click right here where it says um, add a notes and all that is it'll open up this page right here and right here is where you would put whatever you need to put like right here this is the home page so it says home um, it's kind of by default that um, Canva would label it so this one page two we're gonna change that to new arrivals let me change it to new arrivals so you can just type it in new arrivals and then this one um put selfies because that's what it is or you know so we're gonna put selfies i'm just doing this so you can see the change um selfies oh it's built the wrong selfies and contact 
Uh, that's the ready contact. So, so happens I have that in the order. So now we're going to preview again. And now you see these have been changed. The home is still the same because we didn't change that. New arrival, selfie, and contact. So when we hit selfie, it takes you to the selfie page. So you see it works. New arrival takes you to that. The contact page takes you to there and back to home. And that's how that works. So now I'm going to close it. And what we'll do now, all you have to do when you're all done is do publish website and once again it shows you a cute little um, sample of what it look like and always select resize on mobile and see this is what it looked like on the tablet so when you hit this it'll help it help it to readjust like how we saw it in the preview otherwise it won't resize properly so, and you can ch choose with navigation or without navigation, like I showed you previously. Now, you can use a free domain, which is Canva's domain. So, it'll be Canva slash whatever it says. Or you can purchase one because Canva has, I believe, teamed up with GoDaddy. So, you can purchase yourself a new domain and see if you have that no domain available. Or if you have a pre-existing one, you can use whatever domain you have already. Mine is already hooked to my other website, so I don't use that. I just use the free one. So then all you would do is hit continue. And see um, Canva, um, what you call it, automatically or defaults to using what you've typed or whatever you've labeled your file at the top. So be mindful of what you label your file, but you can always go here and click the edit and change this portion right here. Um, the Canva Cafe, because that's the name of my, um, my account. And then the hair website is because of what I labeled uh, my file. When I started this design, I name, named my file um, hair website. Just because when I go back to Insta uh, Instagram, <laughs> when I go back to my... Um, home page and I'm trying to find this particular website for this tutorial I know that this is it and don't get it confused with my regular website so I just have it named that because of that but it's whatever you name your file that's the name that's gonna go there so you can also change your what they call Fabicon uh, which is gonna be the little image that's um, represents your site so you can click it and you can change it and then of course you could hit the preview to you know see what it's gonna look like and then right here you can describe your business because um, this was is what's gonna help it out in the uh, internet <laughs> for people to find you so go ahead and write what it does so I would put my website you know I sell hair bundles wigs or you know blah 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 whatever it is and these right here enable password protection and hide my website you wouldn't want to hide your website from search engines because you want people to find you um this enable password protection is good for if you are sending in things that you want to be encoded you know coded like if you work for a tax preparer or you do taxes or something like that and you want to send somebody some information and only they have the password to um, get it so nobody else can um, get the information you know something you know like that so then after you're done you would hit publish and it's gonna prepare it oh I, for I forgot to tell y'all one more thing okay so this is what it would look like it's still kind of loading so it's showing you what it would look like and you can scroll the screen so you can see it's taking a few seconds you know to, to load so that's what it would look like on your laptop it's so pretty I think it's pretty and this is what it look like on the mobile and I can scroll it and then what you would do next is you can either click this to view your website live and you can also not you can you should copy your URL so you will have that for your um, to be able to share so we're gonna click view my website and it'll open up and that's my website is actually live but guess what I can't purchase anything on here because I forgot to show y'all one of the other important things so let me click off of this 
the most important thing too after you design your website you have to link everything so I don't have any links to add because I just don't so what you would do if you have this wig for sale or these hair bundles you can choose to either link the photo or the words I usually link, link both because people tend to click either or they're not sure where to click unless you kind of specify so you would click what you whatever it is you want to link hit this little link sign right here and here you would type in uh, wherever your payment processor page is so that when they click it they can go to your checkout to uh, purchase that in particular so that's how that works and you would just do that for every single thing you want linked um, right here you can put your website in here so you just click it your, well that's not the website your email you can type your email in there mine says uh, uh, if I remember the <laughs> cafe at gmail dot com and I hit enter and now that link is in um, entered so we're gonna go back to preview real quick and you should be able to access it in the preview so we're gonna go down here let's see if it works so I'm gonna click it and if you can see it takes me to my um, email so as you see that link does work so before like um, once you put it in the preview that's the time to check out all your links to make sure all your links work um, properly okay so I hope this tutorial was helpful I hope it was um, easy and simple even with the little hiccups with my computer not working properly um, if you have any questions please leave it below um, let me know what other videos you would love for me to make um, and please subscribe to my channel and share if you care <laughs> And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the same name, The Canva Cafe. And thank y'all for coming. Love y'all. Bye.